a piece by Eduardo uh, Porter in the Times last week talking about when public outperforms private in services. And just as an example, they talk about BP, which was orig originally um, British Petroleum was originally uh, the, a, a British-owned, I mean, sovereign-owned company. It's national. Uh, the London civil servants of the 1960s and 70s, who all but ignored profitability as they issued directives across British Petroleum's bloated corporate network, were replaced by highly motivated managers who were rewarded for cutting costs, reducing risk, and making money. But then in 05, a BP refinery in Texas uh, City blew up, killing 15 and injuring 170. In 06, a leak in a BP pipeline spilled hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil in Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. In 2010, an explosion in Deepwater Horizon killed 11 and resulted in the biggest offshore oil spill in the history of the United States. These days, BP stock trades about 25% before it was uh, below before it was a disaster off the coast of Louisiana, about the same place it was a decade ago. In other words, what does the private sector do better than government and what does it do worse? While in government hands, British Petroleum paid too little attention to profitability. Constrained by its need to please elected officials who often cared more about keeping energy cheap and, and employment high. But in private hands, it may have cared uh, about profits far too much at the expense of other objectives. BP veered from being a company that made sure nothing blew up to one focusing on cost cutting at all costs. Now, here is my question. What's of more societal value? <laughs> One, that, uh, a company that employs people across society? One that makes sure that it doesn't blow things up? Or one that has high profitability for shareholders? Obviously, the, the, the last one, Sam. What are you, some sort of, some sort of socialist? Exactly. Or they tell people that it blew up? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a feature. It's a feature. This, I mean, feature this is an interesting piece. Feature. But I mean, this is the the question when we look at private or public. I'm not in favor of um, of of the government running all of our industries. But there are c clearly some things that government does better than the private. Were uh, you know, disaster relief, mm, single payer health insurance. Our government spends more per capita. More per individual in this country on health care, not including the private insurance industry, in terms of how much we all spend, but our government spends more than Canada does, which has a government run health care program. We have an incredibly inefficient and incredibly expensive system. We need to control health care costs. This is also what the president said, and that's absolutely true. And it's going to involve having, there's a reason why costs for health care under Medicare and Medicaid in particular are cheaper than the private insurance industry. Because when you have a large volume buyer, they can negotiate better prices. Porter goes on to write, the more that we reward, this is uh, uh, Burton Weisbrod, professor of economics at Northwestern University. The more we reward those things we can measure and not reward the things we care about but don't measure, the more we will distort behavior. What, what does that mean? It means when you reward things that we can measure, like test scores, like one-dimensional test scores of students, and not reward the things we care about but don't measure, like how do you measure how much attention and how much caring and how much diligence a teacher has, or how much experience or capacity to change what they do based upon the student they're teaching. The more we will distort behavior. In other words, the more teachers will teach toward to the test at the expense of a well-rounded education for students. 
And it also is the same thing when it comes to disaster relief, where uh, profits are job number one. So we're going to outsource under Bush's FEMA the buses to a company that's going to outsource it to another company that's going to outsource it to another company. And that company is going to say, we're not going to send out the buses until we're absolutely sure you're going to need them because we don't want to cut into our profit margin. Not we would rather err on the side of making sure the buses are there. Rewarding teachers for how well their students perform on standard math and reading tests will encourage lots of teaching of reading and math at the expense of other uh, things an education might provide. And reading and math, how to take a reading and math uh, test.